Now, if you're a student and you're planning on moving to the UK, or you could even be a dependent and you're planning on moving to the UK with your family, you know that things can get really, really expensive in the UK, especially with inflation and everything. And this is part of the reason why most people over here, when they come here, either as students or as dependents, want to take a part-time job. Now, all the more reason why you should take a part-time job is it helps pay small bills, it doesn't help with the rent of course, but small bills like your food expenses, your shopping expenses, it takes care of all of that. So that's great, right? Now, the problem is that most of us who come from India don't come with this mindset of working because when we were in college, we didn't work and we're not used to this concept. It's a little strange, so we have a little restriction in our mind when it comes to this. But here's the thing, it's completely normal here. Most people here work their way through school and college to try and make that a little extra money on the side and uh, to make things easier. And not just that, to even gain experience and get used to working in the workplace. So here's the thing, if you're planning on moving to the UK and if you don't know where to begin when it comes to part-time jobs, today's video is completely going to help because I'm going to tell you what kind of jobs exist, where you can find these jobs and what you need to do. But before we move ahead, I'm Ashika and on this channel we talk about how you can move to the UK either as a student or as a working professional or even as a dependent. Today I decided to take a walk because the weather is really good. But what I'm also beginning to learn is that I have no upper body strength because I'm already tired carrying the gimbal and I'm kind of out of breath but the weather is so great it's absolutely worth it. All right, so you need to know a couple of things before we get started. Well, for starters, you need an NI number. Uh, your NI number, your national insurance number is needed. But here's the thing, if you plan on working, you don't need an NI number before you get the job or while you get the job, but a lot of recruiters insist on an NI number to pay you. So apply for an NI number as soon as you get here. And if you don't know how to do that, just follow the link in the description, this link, and it'll give you all the details on how you can get your NI number. The second thing you need to know is the concept of minimum wages. So you have to pay, get paid a minimum amount over here, and it depends on uh, how old you are, so if you don't know what your minimum wages are, you can check out these numbers, all the minimum wages are mentioned here. Something else you'll need to keep in mind is that while you're a student in the UK, you can only work 20 hours during your term time. During your break, you can work for a longer period, but it honestly depends on which college you are in, which course you're in, all of that. So remember to check with your college on how many hours you can work during your break. You might be able to work 40 hours, but just check in case. And the final thing is, you need a CV. In a lot of these jobs, you can't just walk in. You need a CV to help you out. You need a cover letter. So that's something you should work on as soon as you get here. So the first type of jobs is skilled jobs. Now, here's the thing. If I were you and I was coming to the UK to do a course in either marketing or an MBA in marketing or a bachelor's in marketing, um, I genuinely think I would want to do something that is either in retail or in social media to help me in the future. And this is exactly why. See, if you do a job that you're interested in and that is actually related to what you're studying in, A, time passes a lot faster, and B, you're really interested in what you're doing, and C, all of this counts towards experience that you can show on your resume later. The other thing with skilled jobs is if you're doing a skilled job in the UK, you're definitely going to get paid a lot more versus the other jobs which are unskilled jobs in the UK. So remember that. And here's the thing. Take marketing, for instance. If you were to do a course in social media management before you came here and all of these courses are available for free either on YouTube or on Facebook or with Google you can just start off over here as a social media executive right you can get paid a lot more than the rest of your friends and it's actually something that's going to help you in your career later on so that's great isn't it another really great option is that of care homes and the funny thing is a lot of students don't really opt for this but it pays quite a bit compared to other jobs the good thing about care homes is that you don't need any special skills. You will be required to help take care of the people who are staying in the care homes. And they have flexible hours, they have options for part-time jobs, they have options for students which match the hours that you're looking at. And some of them even provide uh, transportation. So it's a really good option if you are considering working part-time. 
But before we move ahead, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, now's an absolutely great time to do that. Hit the subscribe button now and click on the bell icon for notifications. The other option is working in a warehouse. Now, Amazon is one of the top recruiters in this space. And the good thing about Amazon is that they offer you working hours in chunks of 10. So you can completely maximize your 20 hours versus a lot of other places which offer you 12 hours or 16 hours. So then you have those four hours which you can't do anything with but Amazon gives you like 20 hours that you can do in breaks of in chunks of 10 the other thing is they qu pay quite a bit so that's really good and Amazon's not the only one there's a bunch of other people all of the delivery companies and all the big e-tailers that have warehouses that are always looking for stuff a lot of them also provide you with subsidized transport to get to work so that's really helpful the next option is with retail places um, there are so many retail options over here there's large format supermarkets like there's tesco's and sainsbury's and or asda and aldi and all of that and apart from that there's also uh, mom and pop shops like they call off license stores over here so you have those options as well and apart from that you can even work for retail stores in fashion or you can work for telecommunications like a vodafone or uh, a tree or something like that. There are so many options available. While you can walk in with your resume to all of the smaller off-license stores, uh, you will need to apply online for larger stores. Like you can't walk into a Sainsbury's with your resume. You'll have to apply online. And if you get through, they'll give you a call. But for the smaller stores, you can just walk in with your resume and ask them if they have any vacancies. A couple of weeks ago, we visited South Hall and we actually saw a bunch of notices and on the doors pasted over there just saying they were looking for help that's another great way you can actually look for openings if you go to smaller towns or smaller places you'll see a lot of notices on the doors saying they need help so you can just walk in and ask them if they could recruit you the next option you can consider is within your very own university that's right uh, a lot of people overlook this but here's the thing a lot of universities have openings within the university itself and they also know of other openings as well so you should definitely check with them now if you're working with the university it's great because the job is easier to land so you don't have so much competition from people from all over the place and the other thing is they pay you quite decently and apart from that They'll also teach you the basics of whether it is managing a library or being in the reception or managing the filing system in the back office or being a tour guide in the college or whatever. You just learn the basics, you improve on your communication skills and you overall have this sense of achievement because you're helping people at the same college you go to, which is great, right? Tell me in the comment section below if I've missed out on any opportunities you think everyone else should know on where to find part-time jobs in the UK. Another role you can definitely look forward to is working in an office, either in the reception as a receptionist or as an admin. And this would mean scheduling meetings, going through the mail, taking care of the office overall, greeting people as they come in. The really great thing about this is it definitely improves your communication skills because you'll be talking to people all day long and it helps you get more comfortable with working in an office environment. It gives you a flavor of what you're in store for. So if you have this option, absolutely go for it. Another really great option is working in hospitality. So either you could work for a restaurant and you could be a server or a waiter with the restaurant, which is perfectly respectable. Or the other option is if you sign up with these agencies, every time there's an event happening, they let you know. So it could be a football match, it could be a music concert or a club. And they'll always let you know if there's an opening and you could either be working at the counter or you could be handling billing or you could be working in security or something like that. Probably not security, you need a license for that and all of that. But there's a, a bunch, bunch of options where you can work and have a really good time at working. So a very good question a lot of you will have is where can you find these jobs? Well, for starters, you should definitely check with your university like I told you. The other thing you should do is you should definitely check all the boards, all the job boards. That's Read, Indeed, Monster, LinkedIn and Gov.uk. Apart from this, there are some more options. Well, one of the options is Facebook. There are lots of groups which actually post out listings for jobs that are available. So if you join these Facebook groups, you'll get to know what's happening. Uh, one more option is to sign up with an agency. So every time they have an opening, they immediately let you know. And very, very important is to build a network of acquaintances and friends. And every time these acquaintances know of something, they can always recommend you. If one of them is leaving the job and if they know there's going to be a vacancy, they can let you know or if they're already at the job and they know of more vacancies, they can let you know. Now, if you're moving to the UK, you need to pick the right college if you're going to be a student in the UK. And the truth is that it gets really expensive here, like I told you. I mean, there's inflation and it's mad expensive right now. 
which is all the more reason why it's extremely important for you to know which are the most affordable colleges in the UK so you can make the right decision. Well, if you need help with that, all you need to do is click this video.